Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a death screen for your Roblox game. First thing you want to do is come over to Start GUI and insert a screen GUI. Rename this death, it's very grim, add a frame, name this BG, standing for background. Uh, you can change this to whatever color, if you want it to just be text, just change the transparency to 1. And scale it to 1, 0, 1, 0. For mine, I'm going to have the background be black. Then next, we're going to add a text label and call this death label. Now we can move this to the center of the screen. When you do so, a line should appear like that little green line. And then just go down here, change the size. This this one to one, so it covers the whole screen. And I'm just going to change this one to 150, recenter it again and change the background color to be a light gray. Then I'm gonna remove this border size pixel and enable text scaled, set to any of these fonts. I'm gonna set mine to co or cartoon and I'm gonna write here, you died. Then I'm gonna change this to zero and change the color to red. So to give it a little red outline. Now go to death, and then at the very top, there should be an enabled. Uncheck that and collapse this. Next, open starter player, go to starter character scripts and insert a regular script. Rename this death detection and write what I do. So this is all we'll need for the script. If you didn't name your GUI death, this will not work. So it has to be named death. Um, we can close that and press play. Now if I open the pause menu and press reset, you can see that you died appeared. Then when I respawn, it'll go away. If we want to get fancy with this, we can go to death, enable it, click background, move it away, off screen by going to position and making this negative one. Then we can disable it again, go to our script, and add a new line of code. We can just copy this first part to save us some time. Just erase the end part and add So what this is going to do is it's going to add a smooth transition for it to be on screen. This will look better if we go to the background and make it transparent, which I'm going to do just to show you how it looks better. Uh, linear is just a tweening style. Uh, the wiki has all of them listed and how they look. 1.5 is just how long the animation takes. Your player is dead for roughly like five seconds, I'd say, more or less. Now, if we go and try this out, by pressing play and then resetting you can see it tweens in you died then when we respawn it goes away now if we want to spice this up even more we can make this into elastic and we can go to our death label and make this background transparency 0.75 now when we press play and we reset it'll have a little wiggle animation to it, which in my opinion looks better than what we had before. Now I'm going to show you it without the transparent background and just show you how that looks in case you want to keep the transparent background off. Now we're loaded in. So if I go up to this menu, press reset, it looks pretty bad because it doesn't cover the sides as much as you want it to. Now, if we want to make this 
even fancier instead of just having it move into the screen we can have we can go back to the death ui we can go down to the position and set it to zero zero and now if we go to this death label we have to set the size of this to zero make sure to disable it here go back to the script and erase this part now right after background write death label and do tween size and then just write what i do now the second part we're gonna have to put a zero comma and then what size you have right here i have 150 yours may vary so now we're just gonna have to oh i forgot udim2 now we can just add a comma out comma linear and i'm going to do 0 0.75 seconds now if we close this press play and reset again you can see it moves over now if we make this into the elastic animation we had before we can see how much it changes the animation as you can see it's very fast on 0 0.75 seconds so if we just go over here, set it to three, let's test. You died. The last thing we could do is we could make it grow from the center. The way we would do this is set it back to scale one, move, enable it, make sure you enable it. That's a big step. And this size, we can make it zero. We'll have this still here. And we can just make the tween size the exact same, I believe. I'm going to make this 1.5. Now if we try this out, you can see it grows down from the center and bounces. Now if we combine these two, if we make the scale into 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 then when this animation plays, it'll grow from the side and the center. So if I reset, you can see it grows like diagonally. That's all I have to cover in this video. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.